Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Xpop channel, myself Rakesh and today we are going to look at the new taxonomy manager user interface. The previous user interface, if you have already worked, you must have known, the user interface is very different from what you see it now. So this user interface, you will have a question, how do you get this user interface? What changed? So if you go to your manage packages and if you have installed UiPath Intelligent OCR, okay, and you are installing the latest versions, uh, let's say I am using 5.0.2. So anyone having a latest version uh, right now, the 5.0.2 has this design. And if you have installed this, immediately you will find a taxonomy manager icon has been added to your ribbon. And when you click on this icon, you see the new interface, right? So this is the new interface which has appeared. Now we will see how to use this new interface. Okay, how do I use this new interface? We are going to see. Now this user interface has got two different buttons one is group and the other one is document type okay so group and document type what is the use let me tell you let's first click on the group enter the new name so here we will be entering the company name let's say company a company b let's say i'm giving company expo hub okay so whatever your company name is this is one of the structure and example i'm giving so on the group level i'm providing the group name okay so I'm mentioning a company name. Let's say Expo Hub is a company as an example. Now under this company, if you click on this particular link, okay, if you click, click on that, then it is asking you enter a category. So click on the category. So I am dealing with accounting or accounts depart department. So I'll say accounts department. So I will hit on save. If you need more categories, let's say uh, we also have finance department, uh, not uh, HR department. Okay, so here I have under this company, there are there could be multiple departments, IT department. So all these categories you can create. Now let's say for accounts department, I need to uh, process invoices that are going to their department and I need to process receipts okay so you can see how it has a hierarchical order it has a company name then it has a department now let's say for HR department let's say they are working on resumes I, I am going to say resumes okay so here I have said resume so whatever document type they are working on I can keep on adding the document type under each category Okay, this you have understood how to do it. So this has got a hierarchical structure. Now let's say for the invoice, if you click on the invoice, you want to add a couple of fields. So click on this and let's say I need invoice number, which is a number type and save it. Then I need another field called invoice date. So I'm going to select the field type, save it. And let's say I need total due total amount okay and this is a number so what about so this way you can create fields so this is all about uh, using the left hand side option group and creating the hierarchical structure you just saw how I have created now what is the use of document type if you click on the document type let's say I want to do all types of invoices okay another document all types of um, receipts so here for a smaller project right if you are going for a very small project you don't have to create a hierarchical structure like like i have done a company name then what are the departments then what that department what kind of document they are processing so if we are going for a very complex project then i would recommend you to start with a group if not if a very simple project you are just dealing with the invoice or receipts so they have given an alternate option for you not to go through that route but rather simply click on the document type and create your different document types okay so that in your simple process you click on this and click on add fields over here let's say i need invoice number the same process just that the user interface has slightly been modified to bring ease to the users okay invoice number invoice date 
So if you are going for a very small project, you can simply start with document type rather than creating the entire structure wherein you know that there is no use of having that, right? If you feel that way, then you can simply create a document type and start adding the fields that you need to extract, right? So this is a simple taxonomy manager. I mean, this has been enhanced. The user has been enhanced and I like it and hope you guys have got an understanding how to use it okay so see you can see similar way for all your document types you can create your fields so this is how you'll be using the new taxonomy manager user interface guys so thank you so much for watching this we are going to come up with more interesting videos for you thank you bye bye